What if? What if it only took 12 months to manufacture a reactor pressure vessel? What if an entire small modular reactor pressure vessel girth weld could be completed in less than 60 minutes? What if an entire small modular reactor vessel head could be manufactured in less than three months with no vessel dissimilar metal welds? What if the industry could reduce in-service examination of reactor pressure vessel girth welds? What if vertical welds to join roll plates were acceptable without embrittlement concerns? Engineers at EPRI, Nuclear MRC, and New Scale Power are employing the most advanced manufacturing techniques to directly address these challenges by fabricating major components of an SMR pressure vessel using powder metallurgy, hot isostatic pressing, and electron beam welding to improve construction times and deliver certainty. Here's a quick overview demonstration of how powder metallurgy, hot isostatic pressing, commonly referred to as PMHIP, and the electron beam welding technologies are being used to address various difficulties presented by traditional manufacturing techniques. Metal alloy powders are first fabricated to specific chemistries through the atomization process. A metal capsule is fabricated in the near net shape of the desired component with nozzles, attachments, and detailed features included, eliminating dissimilar metal welds. The capsule is then filled with powder, degassed, and vacuum annealed for low alloy steels. Through the hot isostatic pressing process, densification takes place, forming a highly dense solid alloy structure with uniform grain structure providing isotropic properties, as well as material that is easily inspectable via ultrasonic testing. The capsule is then removed by machining or pickling, leaving the near net shape component. The PM hip fabrication process provides various benefits including near net shape, shorter lead times, easier ultrasonic inspection, reduced materials cost with less material waste and machining compared to forgings, potential to eliminate welds, mechanical properties that are comparable to forgings, and no residual stresses. For the current project, the upper and lower reactor heads, the steam plenum representative of those to be used for the new scale power reactor pressure vessel are fabricated from PM hip. Along with the less complex geometries produced from traditional forgings, these parts are then assembled using electron beam welding, commonly referred to as EPW. This advanced welding process performed in a vacuum chamber is completed in a single weld pass with no filler material required. The EB welding process can perform these thick section girth welds 10 times faster than traditional arc welding. What used to take weeks can now be completed in minutes. The Nuclear Advanced Manufacturing Research Center is leading the development of the EBW technology within this project. Since EB welds don't require the use of filler metals, heat treatment can be employed to optimize the alloy's grain structure, restoring fracture toughness comparable to the base metal. Essentially eliminating the welds, this combination of technologies has the potential to reduce costly in-service inspections on nuclear pressure vessels. The project is applying this laboratory-proven technology through demonstration on large-scale vessel components. Because of EPRI's leadership in the field of advanced manufacturing, other organizations have embraced PM HIP and electron beam welding and are looking at applying these technologies to small modular reactors, micro reactors, and advanced reactor components. EPRI, along with others within the industry, are further demonstrating the EBW technology at full scale for SMR vessels as part of the modular in-chamber electron beam welding project. The PM HIP and EBW technologies enable the opportunity to significantly accelerate production and reduce costs for the next generation of large nuclear components.